himself takes a look at the free dance. Four, nine, four, nine. Chris, the ice dance final is usually the most controversial. The reason for that is the constant and evolutionary struggle between athletics versus artistry and theater versus sport. Ice dancing was not accepted into the Olympics until 1976. It took that long to convince officials that it is, in fact, a sport. Trends in recent years have moved from the purest of ice dancing seen in Torval and Dean's 1982 performance of Mac and Mabel, just down the road from Alberville in Lyon, France. Jane and Chris's more athletic program, titled Barnum on Ice, skated at the 1983 Worlds in Helsinki. This performance displayed intricate footwork. The trend moved to programs like that of the Duchenys at the 1991 Worlds in Munich, emphasizing artistry and theatrical interpretation, resulting in more upper body variances, but with more two-foot skating. The optimum free dance is one that best portrays a combination of both athletics and artistry. Again, this is most vividly displayed in any and all of Torval and Dean's free dances. As we watch their interpretation of Bolero, notice how well they equally share in the footwork, and how, too, their artistry is both innovative and imaginative. This is the 1984 European Championships in Budapest. Following the World Championships last year in Munich, the International Skating Union issued an official communique stating, the athletic aspect of ice dancing must remain predominant as this is a competitive sport. So today we are looking for free dances that have that fine blend of athletics, artistry, theater, and sport. Chris? Thank you, Gene. We'll be back with more from the Olympic Ice Hall after this.